Well, hi, folks. Good evening. Good evening. <laughs> Stye's out of camping. <laughs> that was busy setting up camp today and I was hoping I was going to get to go down and do some shoreline fishing. I was all excited. Camp was coming together just perfect today. Well, then it started to rain. Now, I've, that's the way my camps have been this summer. Seems like every time I get out to camp, I got just enough time. I get everything set up get myself just comfortable and then it rains it storms it rains it storms it rains and then all of a sudden the weather will get nice and I'll have a couple of days two three days of good weather looks like it's doing it again so When it does that, I got two choices. Grab the rain gear. Put the rain, I got frog togs and I can put the jacket on and the pants on and I can just hang around outside in the rain. But there's just not a lot you can do in the rain. hang around in the rain. Second thing you can do is hang out indoors if you've got an indoors to hang out in. Well, I've got the adventure trailer, the Sty Shack 2. Can't complain there. It's comfortable as can be. Nice and cozy. But it doesn't have windows. To be able to look out, see what's going on, right? Well, then, there's the screen house, where I am now. Hang out in the screen house. Sure, why not? Well, earlier I was doing a little bit of whittling. and Had myself a quick little supper. I didn't cook. I, used, I had a freeze-dried camp meal, which is okay because I didn't um, didn't have the bad, you know, a big appetite. Had myself a couple of blueberry donuts for my dessert. That was cool. Well. Since the last camp, I've been nursing a bum ankle. And it got me through the day. Got me through the day. It's hurting pretty good now, but it got me through the day. So, I had, I, I wasn't going to wrap it, but I went and wrapped it anyway. And... I sure hope that white noise isn't driving people nuts. That Coleman lantern sure is noisy. <clears throat> but I wasn't going to wrap it, and I wrapped it anyway. And so it seems like the swelling is staying down, which is good, which is good. But it's tender. It's tender. Tender to the touch. So I took the wrap off to check it out. That's it. Yeah, it's... The swelling's down. It's it's not gone, but it's down. But it's so tender to the touch. It's just, you know, typical bad sprain, you know. So, it just kept raining. I was going to go for a walk. And threw my frog togs on and I went for a stroll through the campground. Didn't care that it, the rain had let up. It was a steady, soft rain. 
There's nobody here. There's nobody here. This whole campground, 29 campsites. There's nobody here but Sty. Just old Sty out here all alone. Been there, done that. Sty actually likes it that way. Or I should say doesn't mind it that way. I don't mind people around. <coughs> if they're the friendly sort, you know. And they're not terribly noisy and spoiling the effect of being in the outdoors. But right now, tonight, I got nobody here. Tomorrow, I'm going to take a little ride in my truck. It's supposed to rain all through tomorrow. So I'm going to go for a little ride in my truck. I'll take camera with in case I see critters or something. And I... <laughs> I'm going to just, I'm going to drive through and look at every one of these campsites and see the reserved ones, see when these people are going to show up. Because all of the campsites on the sloop that I'm on, nobody's going to be here till Friday. The four campsites that are here along with mine, well, there's actually five, because I think it's a total of six on the loop. I'm the only one that's here until Friday. The host has their camping trailer in their site next to mine, but it's real evident they've got it all, the, their site is all buttoned up and it's not set up. It's just they put the trailer in there and I got a gut feeling they're coming out the hosts are coming out for the weekend. They're not going to be here during the week because it's so quiet. There ain't nobody here. I got a gut feeling that when I go through this campground tomorrow and look at all of the reservations because they post them, there ain't going to be nobody here all week except Stein. Boy, am I privileged, eh? Ain't it terrible? So, that's what I'm going to be up to tomorrow, I think. But, and I'm, I'm, I'm going to come up with a little project or something to do here in the screen house during the day. Keep myself busy, some bushcrafting shenanigans or something. But, Stein's getting a half a day today and this evening to just totally kick back. I get all day tomorrow and tomorrow evening to do the same thing I did today because the weather's going to be lousy. If in between, if I get some dry spells and I can get down there and fish the shoreline, I'm going to do that. I'll do that for a little while tomorrow. I was going to try today, but it rained just constant once I... I got here, I did an intro video that I got to camp and said, I'm going to go down there and fish before it rains. I no more than finished that video. I moved the camera into the screen house here, was getting some camera gear ready to go down and go fishing, and there it comes. There it comes rain. Rain, rain. Comes and goes. Seems to want to just stay. <laughs> Sty just wants to stay. But I think I got as much rain in the last um, six hours as I did in two days in my last camping trip, even with those heavy thunderstorms and the downpours, because the rain was just steady, moderate rain, constant, just constant, never a break in it for the last six hours. Now it quit. The rain quit, so it's nice and quiet. Every once in a while you hear rain dropping off the trees. Otherwise, not a sound. Well, here's the thing. I took this walk, right? And I'm going to kind of give you a prelude to my next video. 
And I'm doing these videos because I got nothing else to do. And they're just, they're going in my video archive and I, you're watching this one. I don't know when this one popped up. Because I'm not doing, I'm not posting videos so much in sequence. I'm doing a I Got Here video. I already did that. And then I'm going to be doing the Week at Camp video at the end. And that'll be kind of a long one because it'll have all the things I did at camp for the week. Um, and those will be the only two real camp videos other than I've got a couple of cooking ones I'm going to do. But it has nothing to do with this particular camp. It just has to do with cooking on the fire and blah, blah, blah. And I got a couple of other videos to do. So I'm just making these videos and going to put them in the archives and pop them up for you folks. Gives me a chance to let you get to know me a little better. Some of you know me too well. <laughs> well. So I'm taking that walk. And all of a sudden I hear way off in the woods to the east and north of the campground. They're nothing that way. They're nothing that way. You got to walk, in fact, you got to hike about three, four miles before you hit a beat up old gravel road heading that direction. That's the nearest thing. And that gravel road, just an old logging road. I could hear in the distance. I don't, I don't know that I can mimic it. But I heard a whoop kind of thing. A whoop, whoop. Wasn't an owl. I've heard owls hundreds of times. All different owls. Wasn't an owl. Wasn't a coyote. It was too deep of a sound. It wasn't a person because it wasn't a person unless that person was very primitive because it truly felt and sounded like a primal kind of call wasn't a wolf wasn't a bark or a howl I have only heard I, and here's the thing I have heard that hoop before that 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 kind of call I heard it out in Montana when I lived out there way out in the back country way out in the back country I was about 16 miles from the nearest road of any sort in the Cabinet Wilderness area. And I kid you not, I mean, I, we were 16 miles from the nearest gravel road. Hiked all the way in there. There's an overnight camp, and then a camp at the end of the hike, and then an overnight coming back out, and then finally got back out. We did about eight miles a day. Well, I um, heard that tonight. Sun hadn't quite set yet, but it was getting dark. It was starting to get dark. I was wearing a headlamp while I'm hiking down the road here around this loop. And I started asking myself, what in the world could it be? I've heard it, <coughs> I've heard that exact same sound once before in my life. So, I decided I'm going to make a video about it tonight and talk about how I heard that sound in Montana. Now I heard it here in Wisconsin. 
and I'm going to tie some things together that that are on the edge of fact and fiction. It'll be a mystery by the end of that video that you can all come to your own conclusion. So, I'm going to wrap this one up. How long did this take? Well, it wasn't terribly long. <laughs> but on a quiet, damp night way out in the National Forest, there ain't another soul around. The nearest actual residence homes of anybody from this spot here is approximately 10 miles from here. So for 10 miles around me, all the way around, at a minimum, 10 miles, I would say actually 20 miles, because it's 10 miles in one direction to the nearest home that I'm aware of, or cabin or anything of that sort. And it's another 10 to 12 miles the opposite direction before you hit any. So it's at least 20 mile diameter of an area, 20 miles. I think I'm the only person out here. On a wet wilderness night, and you're hearing unidentified howls or whoops, it gets the mind thinking. And it makes you ask what and why was fire for man so important. We're going to get on that in the next video. So look forward to the next video, guys. Because I think it'll be fun. It'll be a fun discussion. And I'm going to hope that I'll get some good comments from you folks out of this next video. So hang tight, guys. The next video will be coming up. In a, day, in a day or two and I think you'll like it I think you'll like it so it'll be in my playlist of course when it gets up there so you can always come back to it but until then hey if you haven't subscribed if you like this video give me a thumbs up would you <coughs> and if you haven't subscribed you can punch me in the ugly mug it's gonna pop up over here and over on this side uh, yeah I'm always grouped up over on this side ooh, I'll pop some videos up you can follow. And until the next time, you all have a very, very nice day. Bye-bye.